baseball, basketball, football, letter it all three. How many three sport athletes do we have? Yeah, it's still, it's still alive. Okay? It's, it's hard to do nowadays. But hey, guys, had an awesome time. Went on to play baseball on, on scholarship at UC Berkeley. Went to the College World Series in 1992. Was drafted uh, professional ranks, played 11 years. Part of the fourth season of the big leagues. Uh, with the New York Yankees, with the uh, LA Dodgers, with the uh, LA Angels. So, uh, it's been a big for a short stay too. So, it was an awesome time. Guys, I got to play with all the big guys, all the superstars, guys making tons of money, guys, you know, far from the Lord, people grounded from the Lord. And I also got to play overseas, internationally. I played in the Korean League, I played in Japan, I played in Canada, I played in the Mexican League, I played in the Dominican Republic. My passion for baseball, what I love to do, just offered me some wonderful opportunities. I got to see world culture, meet people, play against the world best. It's pretty cool. A very cool time of my life. I stepped back from faith. I took charge of my life, and I felt like I could do it all by myself. And my biggest big league moment wasn't flying on that plane like a rock star in Cleveland, Ohio, with the New York Yankees. Like I thought of it. Thirty reporters. Microphone in face. Three days later, I'm in a little hotel in the middle of nowhere where no one cared, no one thought about me, no one knew I was there. And it was there, at that great big league moment, that little hotel, where God started coming to my heart. And I started really searching for the answer to life. The question that, that I had, the answer was the question I had. And I was, I was enticed to, to buy a Bible with the encouragement of a few people in my life. And I went out and started reading God's Word, and God's Word really started speaking to me. And it was in that little hotel in Tampa, Florida, where I laid my life over Jesus Christ and decided that I was going to live for a new purpose. And I realized I couldn't do it by myself. You guys are athletes. You know what hard work's about, right? You know what commitment's about. You know what You guys know all that stuff. There's something bigger than all that, guys. But we need to acknowledge, we need to realize that without God, without the gifts that He's given us, without all those abilities to work hard, to think smart, to be a good teammate, we're really not that great.